Hello, it's Wednesday today and I am having a very nice time by myself down here in the front room. I was supposed to be doing housework and getting on with my various daily missions, but I got completely distracted. I saw the puzzle just sitting here and I just thought, oh, I'll just break a couple of these up just to get ready. And then I got really carried away with it and I started playing vlogs on my phone, which I've just got on pause because I'm vlogging now. A fairly local friend of mine has found something out and told me about it, which is within walking distance of this house, there is a fruit and veg stall, which is in the open air. And I'm pretty excited about this because you're much less likely to catch COVID in the open air because the viral particles are far more diluted by the air and there's a lovely breeze blows it all away. So me and Izzy are going to go down after lunch and see what we can get and apparently they also sell plants and compost. My other mission of the day is to tackle that little hot spot over there and it's quite a big mission because it involves doing all my filing. But right now I'm enjoying this so much that even though it wasn't my plan I'm just going to carry on doing it because it's a little bit of happiness that I didn't expect to have so I'm just going to carry on with it I'm getting all sorts of ideas I think I'm going to get a little fine marker pen and make these a little bit clearer when they're all done possibly even as I'm going along because I've got a massive atlas and I'm going to look up what the places are actually called if I can't read them and write them in and I'm going to know where my vlogging buddies are in the world because I've got so many not people that I've met in real life but people that I've got to know through watching their channels you know and some of them watch mine as well, and some of them don't if they're bigger YouTubers. But I feel like I'm really connected globally these days. It's great. I've done it. I've nearly blistered my fingers. <laughs> but there we are. Oh my goodness. It's going everywhere. Problem is now, look. Tiny little bits of wood everywhere. I'm going to be breathing those in. I'm not sure if the wood is going to be the best... I think I might have preferred the cardboard one that I did recently that was from the works. It was a very good puzzle apart from there being one piece missing. I did do them a review and mention there was one piece missing. rather hoping they might send me the piece, but they haven't. Perhaps I should have tweeted them first, I don't know. But they just kept pestering me to give them a review, so I did. <laughs> Bits everywhere. I've decided I am not going to do this one section at a time. I am going to try and do the whole lot in one go. And I think it will take longer, but I just, I think it might be more stimulating if I do it like that. Otherwise it's just like eight little puzzles. I'm going to see if Izzy wants some lunch now. We've got leftovers to use up. I think I'm going to be having the leftovers. There's some macaroni cheese in the fridge, which is a ready meal that I bought about five days ago. It hasn't been eaten yet. So I'll see if Izzy wants that or the leftovers. The leftovers is kind of almost like macaroni cheese in a way. I'll show you. I did my old trick with the tin of mushroom soup again. So I used pasta, I used tinned green beans and tinned mushrooms. I also added, and I'm running out of this now, uh, these lovely yeast flakes. They're full of B vitamins, but they're very, very tasty. They're kind of yeasty. It's like Marmite without the salt, but with extra yeast, I suppose. It's got that extra flavor that you don't always get in things. So I chucked a load of those in. And yeah, a whole mozzarella that needed using up that had been in the fridge for about a fortnight. <laughs> but it was still in date, luckily. Um, yeah, it's, it's very nice, but as you can see, it's not the most full of fruit and veg meal you could have. I don't think there's quite enough for two portions. So, someone can have that. That's, that's just about in date, look. It's about quarter past two now. Izzy wants to go to the veg stall at three. She's doing some drawing. She's entered some online drawing competition, so she's got a deadline. So she's doing that. So I'm going to have a bit of a power through and make a start on that shelf. I've broken it into the individual tasks to um, make myself feel less daunted by it again. So I'm going to go through that. But I need to hang some washing on the line first. I've just brought that duvet in that I washed yesterday that was in the under stairs cupboard. It smells lovely and fresh from being line dried. I got this box out of the shed. I cleared this the other day when I was doing my unpacking. I just put in all my frequently used techie bits in here so that I can access it easily, but it'll look tidier than just mounding up. <laughs> So I've kind of segregated it into piles of things like tax return stuff, council tax, 
bank statements, just all stuff like that, musicians union stuff. And after I get back from the fruit and veg stall, I will go upstairs to my bedroom and I will set about filing this lot and possibly having a bit of a chuck out session. Ah, uh, look who's here. Hello, Mrs. Moose. Hi. What have you been up to? I've been drawing. Oh. The lighting's really bad, just so you know. Oh yeah, so it is. I look a different race. I'm going to have a little bit of an experiment when I go out. I'm going to do some shots on my phone, the fruit and veg stores, and I'm going to try and edit it on my phone in LumaFusion software, which I downloaded ages ago. It's £20 as a one-off upload, and it's apparently really good editing software. I've never used it before, so I'm going to try and just take a few shots, edit that into one clip and insert it into the vlog. So if this vlog's out late, that's why, because I've never done it before and it might take me a while. But I'd like to learn a new skill to do with vlogging, and that's the next one I've got lined up for myself. Isabel has now discovered a bit of a love, I think, for the garden. I was taking photos of this in good lighting because me and my friends are having a competition about every day a drawing round. We only have 30 minutes, so that's what that was for. Oh, okie dokie. Right, let's get our shoes and socks on and get out. Also, it's boiling out there. It's so cute. <laughs> I love goats. I know, you've got to think about goats, haven't you? I love goats, goats are the cutest. We're back. Well, that did not go according to plan. Google Maps just took me somewhere really random and there was no fruit and veg stall there. Apparently it now shuts at three, not four, so we would have missed it anyway. But we met some local ladies and they knew vaguely where the area was and they've given me directions, so we'll have a, another attempt at that tomorrow. But I'm going to have to go to Tesco's tonight because have you seen our fridge? It looks like that. I mean, we've got plenty of cheese and some chickeny bits and some ketchup, but... Yeah. I'm going to make myself a nice coffee now and I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to start tackling that filing bit by bit. I'm so determined I'm going to have a go on that Luma Fusion that I'm doing some funky shots with my phone just so I can stick it together and put it back in the vlog. How's it doing? Oh yes. Coming through nicely. And this is me trying, oh, where's the lens? <laughs> it's by there, I think. And this is me in selfie mode, just seeing if the aspect ratio is okay. Maybe I need to hold that out a bit further, I don't know. This one is not as wide an angle lens as my camera, so you have to hold it far away if you, yeah. Mm. Getting on a key arm. Right, back to the other camera. I've dumped it all on the bed. It's like, you know, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way to segregate it into sections. And my files are all in here these days, so it shouldn't be too daunting a task now. I'm going to get to do lots of chucking out because you only keep six years worth of paper records if you're self-employed here in the UK. So anything below that I can shred. So I've got the shredder at the ready. Down there, which usually lives in the cellar, but I've brought it up for this specific purpose. And that reminds me, I need to go and get a recycling bag for the paper because it'll just keep filling up. Do you know, this is not anywhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I really put my files in order before the move last year and I completely forgot, but it gradually has been coming back to me. <laughs> oh yes, yes. I finished, I got all my filing done. All put away, more or less, okay. <laughs> Some of it I just shoved in the front of the folder. But at least it's all a lot more findable now than it was earlier. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.